Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to a snapshot video for Minecraft 18W32A snapshot. This is a snapshot for 1.13.1, and we'll also be covering in this video changes from the week 30 and week 31 snapshots. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first change from the week 30 snapshot is that we now have the ability to search for single player worlds. So this is very helpful if you have a lot of single player worlds like I do. And let's say I wanted to find the world I created in snapshot 18w19a for some reason. So I type in 18w19, and there it is. It comes up right there. And so, yeah, this one is the name of the world. If I wanted to find, let's say, the super flat creation world, there you go. I type in part of the name of the world, and it pulls it right up. So very easy to use and very useful feature. One feature that was removed in 1.13 is Unstable TNT, and in the week 30 snapshot they added it back, as you can see right here, so if I punch that TNT, it will now eventually, after a cooldown, explode. And the way you do that is now via a command like this, set block Minecraft TNT, and you want the tag on it, unstable equals true, and that creates your unstable TNT. Now on to some bug fixes in the week 30 snapshot. First of all, book and quills when signed in the offhand, will now make sure and keep their contents, as you can see here, so that's a great fix. Previously, if you upgraded from Minecraft 1.12 to Minecraft 1.13, you might find chests in certain orientations with items moved around, and chests in certain locations might become invisible, have items duplicated inside them, or have items deleted inside of them, and those issues have now been fixed. Blocks now once again pop off when their support blocks are removed, as you can see right here. Villager door detection range, which had been increased slightly, has now been reverted back to what it was in 1.12.2. And iron golems will now once again spawn in the center of villages, so iron farms should now work once again. Cursed enchanted books now once again have red text, as do items enchanted with curses. If you throw a trident and now die before picking the trident up, then you can still pick up the trident even after you die. There were also a lot of fixes to observers. One bug fix is that observers will now once again detect retracting sticky piston arms, as you can see right there. And they also no longer detect move blocks late. Another great fix is to map cloning. So here's my map I want to clone. If I want to go ahead and place this in here and clone the map, I can do that no problem. However, there was a bug in Minecraft 1.13 where if you placed additional blank maps in there, that you would always get only two clone maps out. And you can see that has been fixed. You can now clone up to eight blank maps from the original map at one time. So that's a great bug fix there. There were also several other bug fixes to maps in these snapshots, including that map markers are no longer blacked out. So you can see here we have red, yellow, blue, and black markers. And also when you place maps and item frames, the markers no longer disappear after some time. They are now persistent, so you don't have to worry about these markers being deleted, which is a fantastic change. There is also a fix to prevent maps from doing what we saw in Hermitcraft, where if you looked at a map at a certain angle, it would sometimes be lit up and sometimes be darkened, so that has been fixed as well. Droppers and dispensers facing downward will now offset spoke particles downwards when activated, and the same for droppers and dispensers facing vertically upward. Concrete powder placed next to waterlogged blocks will change to concrete now if water can flow into the block the concrete powder is placed in. So it doesn't apply to things like, for instance, the back of a stair, uh, but it does for the front of the stair. And it doesn't apply in all situations, so for instance, here we have a waterlogged half slab. I can go ahead and place the concrete powder directly on top of that, and it does not convert to concrete. So there are still some limitations with it. Fish of all types now have a 5% chance to drop bone meal when killed, as we just saw there. And this is a pretty significant change because that means that bone meal can be made automatically. You don't have to craft up bones anymore. So this is a big deal for things like tree farms and any farm that uses bone meal. There have been a lot of changes to coral in the week 30 snapshots. Namely, if you now bone meal the ocean underwater in a warm ocean biome like we're in here, you will occasionally get a couple of coral and coral fans. So bone mealing the ground underwater will now get you coral, making coral renewable. So this opens up the possibility of things like coral farms and coral fan farms existing. So that's pretty awesome. However, it doesn't work outside of the warm ocean biome. So if I come over here, this is a lukewarm ocean, I believe. Yeah, lukewarm ocean. And now if I bone meal the ground, you'll see it doesn't work. So you can only bone meal the ground 
in the warm ocean to get coral and coral fans. The other big change to coral comes in the week 32 snapshot, which allows you to now place regular coral outside of water, similar to what you can do with coral blocks and coral fans. And as you'd expect, the living coral quickly dies when it's outside of water and turns into all the different varieties of dead coral, which can then be harvested with a silk touch pick. So we now have all varieties of dead regular coral, so that's fantastic. And you can also now place the regular coral outside of water if you have them on top of waterlogged blocks. We have waterlogged slabs here and you'll see these corals remain living uh, even though they're sort of outside of water. Conduits can now be placed outside of water and can now be properly waterlogged like other blocks. One huge change in 113.1 is that squids have been made non-spawnable in every biome except for oceans and rivers. That means you will never find a squid in a swamp biome and also, if you built something like a squid farm, for instance, in a desert or a plains or anywhere else, then that squid farm will cease to work in 113.1. So be very aware of that. Squids can now only spawn in rivers and oceans. There's a very powerful command which has been added in the week 31 snapshot, and that is the slash chunk command. This command can be used to remotely load or unload chunks, and I'm going to demonstrate that right here. So... Previously, I've set up a cow on a pressure plate to activate a command block to say if a chunk is loaded or not. It's about a thousand blocks away, and we're not loading the chunk right now. But using the slash chunk command, if I do slash chunk force and then the input, uh, input the chunk the cow is in, you'll see it says chunk loaded, despite this chunk being uh, very far away. So now, if I go ahead and unforce that chunk, You'll see the chunk is still loaded, but then after a brief time, we should see that the chunk unloads. It takes a few seconds here, but we will see it eventually. And I think by now it should have unloaded. Yep, there we go. Cool. So now the chunk is unloaded. I can type in, you'll see, yeah, nothing is showing the chunk being loaded in the chat. Uh, so now if I go ahead and just teleport back to this location, about a thousand blocks away, the chunk is loaded once again because we're in the area now. And this was the uh, the setup I was using. So, yeah, pretty useful feature. Um, yeah, chunk loading now in vanilla Minecraft if you have access to commands. Another bug fix this week is that you can no longer feed llamas, which are in love mode. So if I go ahead and feed this guy, you can see once I feed him once and he goes into love mode, I can no longer feed him any more hay bales. So, yeah, this is great because it prevents you from losing a bunch of items for no good reason. There were also a bunch of other bug fixes which fixed things like crashes, as well as problems with world upgrading from 112 to 113, as well as optimizations to 113 itself. So hopefully these fixes and changes will allow more people to enjoy the update once 113.1 releases, which hopefully will be within the next few weeks. Anyways guys, that will be it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thanks again for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.